Warning, the following presentation contains cold, hard truths that might change the way you think. Viewer discretion won't do you any good now. This game is, like, really boring, you guys. The things that you do in it are just, like, not fun. You just go places and kill people and get experience. Just a bunch of loot quests. And the game is just too hard. Tom Clancy's The Division was a game that had some hype surrounding it. In fact, it was a game that showed a little too much promise. An open world, multiplayer, third person, shooter, RPG, set in post-apocalyptic New York City. Right before the game's launch, many people suddenly became very skeptical because the actual game ended up having slightly degraded graphics compared to the original demo. And honestly, if you cared about that, fuck you. When The Division was released, there were a number of people that just didn't like the game as a whole. No, I'm not gonna make that corny joke about how there is a division in the reception of the game, even though I just made it, so darn. This is one of those games that is just not played or talked about enough, and it had amazing sales. The division broke Ubisoft's company records, including highest number of first day sales and biggest launch for a new franchise. It even became the company's best selling game. I mean, these are the guys that brought you the Assassin's Creed series, the Far Cry series, the Rayman series, all the other Tom Clancy games. Division outsold all of that. So why did so many people trade this game in? A pretty substantial amount of people bought this game and quickly got bored of it. How do you get bored of lighting up dudes with a frickin' assault rifle? Or shooting a sticky grenade at a pack of hostiles? I don't know if people were thinking this was gonna be a steal cars and drive around kind of game, but most RPGs aren't. Or if it's because it didn't have enough cutscenes for them to sit there and whack off to in between missions, I don't know. Now, I don't care if I'm the only person in the world who thinks this, but I think this is the best game of 2016. But clearly it isn't for everybody. After several months of playing it on a regular basis, I still can't believe how good it is. In fact, you won't even believe it, even after seeing this video. You just gotta experience it. They actually nailed it. In terms of combat, visual detail, story detail, and the actual RPG mechanics. It actually plays like a legitimate RPG and a really well-designed one at that, and an open world one in every sense of its meaning, with a basically perfect item system that goes pretty deep. Now in terms of what you do overall, what do you do? What do you do? Besides running around looting buildings and shooting a hell of a lot of people, mainly you gotta expand your home base, which I guess is modeled after the real James Farley post office building. There are quick missions, aka encounters, and then there are the main story missions, which are divided into three subcategories. Each of the subcategories correspond to a different wing of the base that you must work on expanding. And this is where it gets fun, because this is where you get to choose what type of player you want to be. If you want to beat missions that upgrade your medical wings so you can unlock more healing skills, you can do that. If you want to unlock tech and use stuff like the Seeker Mine, hell fucking yeah, do them tech missions. If you want to upgrade security and do... blocking or whatever. Everything is laid out for you perfectly. You got your six different bits of armor that you collect. You got your three different weapons that you carry around at once. You got tons of different clothing options. And this is where the real time is spent, let's be honest. Many different abilities to equip, which include the scanner, first aid, seeker mines, turrets, and that's all the shit that matters, really. But then there's talents and perks and weapon mods and armor mods. You can even mod your backpack. It goes as deep as it can go. Yet some people still find it shallow. There's not a single feature in this game that isn't perfectly crafted. The combat is tight. The shooting is responsive. The movement is fluid. Just look at how awesome this is. My favorite plan of attack is to first use the scanner so you can see the enemies. Then I'll throw a turret, which has a flamethrower attached to it. And then I'll start shooting with the assault rifle. This never gets old. The idea is, of course, to stay hidden the whole time, moving from hiding point to hiding point. And the controls for doing that are actually smooth. And there are so many different hiding points in each room or area. You really notice some incredible level design while playing this. 
this. Let's talk about this map for a second and how amazing it is. And every little point you see is a specific mission or safe house or item pickup. If you just roam around aimlessly, you will constantly be running into an important location. And it really gives you that constant accomplishment effect. A hallmark of a good game is that you need to love it so much that you play it until there are flies buzzing around you, not sure what's going on with you. The division is addictive, without a doubt. Combat is endlessly fun. Running around and looking at the city is fun. Exploring the cool features of your base is endlessly fun. Going through your inventory is actually fun. I don't even want to tell you how fun the clothing is. Oh boy. Inventory management is actually not annoying in any way. Dismantling or selling items is a cinch. In order to unlock all of the missions on the map, you need to find and unlock all of the safe houses. Each safe house unlocks missions in its surrounding area. All the different safe houses look amazing. There's one that's an old movie theater, one that's an old bar, a gymnasium. Discovering a new one is fun. You know what, actually, maybe these guys are right. This game isn't fun. When this guy stated that the division is too bad, it is suck too much, I think he might be right. I mean, this guy seems very intelligent. You know, I'm actually jealous of this guy. I wonder if he lifts. The story is that there was an outbreak of smallpox that was transmitted to people via dollar bills on Black Friday, giving it the name the Dollar Flu. The virus wiped out most of the population and the government appointed division agents to restore order. By the end of the game, you find out that the virus was created by a crazed scientist named Gordon Amherst, who thought that the only way to save the planet was to wipe out the human race. Fucking scientists, man. And no, those were not spoilers because they tell it to you in the loading screen. Oh, and the dialogue is friggin' hilarious at times. If you can listen for it. Listen up. I spent six years in medical school. I don't give a shit what you saw on TV you were jerking off to soap operas in your mom's basement. That Jessica Candell's got some spunk. Aside from the fact that the environment really does resemble New York, the world here is also very well put together. Different areas have different looks. The higher level the area, the crazier the enemies become. There's loot everywhere. There are new weapons to pick up all the time. You can run into people in need of a med kit or food and give it to them in exchange for experience points and a piece of clothing. There's always stuff to do in this world. Even the sound soundtrack in The Division is absolutely genius. And not only is it top-notch music, but it's probably the least repetitive soundtrack I've ever heard. The music always feels fresh, and it's as heart-pounding as it gets. It even has a little Mr. Robot vibe to it. The greatest immediately noticeable quality that this game bears is that the multiplayer actually works. <clears throat> Elder Scrolls. The game is amazing enough in single player, but when you get a friend or two on your team, it just becomes two or three times better. My friend and I have logged some serious hours into this game. A sad amount of hours, which is a good thing. Now, when I said there was detail in this game, that word doesn't even do it justice. Not only is there a disgusting amount of visual detail, some of it almost unnecessary, as there are areas that you don't really need to go into, or you pass by only once or twice, yet there is insane detail everywhere. Especially in your base. You gotta upgrade that base. Not only does upgrading your main base give you the new abilities and new features like weapon recalibration, but it greatly affects the visual appearance of the base. In the beginning, the place is kind of an empty dump, but by the end of it, they're throwing parties, watching movies, and doing all kinds of shit. But the feeling that you get when you walk around and you see a new area come to life, or you see something that you didn't have before, it makes you feel like you're in a living and growing environment that is teeming with life. But also, this is not a game that beats you over the head with story, and I love that. Instead of making you sit through hours of mandatory cutscenes, in The Division, cutscenes are a rarity, and you actually appreciate them. Well, I ran into the guy who runs my neighborhood deli in Queens. He's actually talking about reopening at some point. You know, if I squint, I can almost see New York again. The game starts off with an award-winning opening sequence. 
and you basically don't see any other cutscenes after that unless you beat the main story missions or unlock some of the Easter egg lore, like virus reports and security footage. Now you're unlocking optional cutscenes, and these are actually seriously good. And the fact that you have to find and unlock them, it just gives each scene actual purpose that you can keep track of and remember. I think they establish a pretty heavy plot in this game, and it's kind of unique and it sticks with you. I mean, everybody claims to love dark shit nowadays. This is as dark as you're gonna get, and it's realistic too, which makes it darker. And I'm from the New York City area, so it's even more fucked up for me. And speaking of dark, Many reviews for this game that are out there will say that the Dark Zone is the game's best feature, which is of course the PvP area. Many even claim that this mode is the game's saving grace. I can't say I agree. I think the game stands on its own well without the Dark Zone, but I respect their desire to pump each other with lead, that's all cool by me. It's insane how many people are bitching about the graphics supposedly not looking as good as the original demo. Really, the game looks nothing like that? as in nothing you see here is similar. Now, what these subhumans somehow fail to realize is that nearly every video game that's come out recently has ended up having to scale back on some of its visual detail. And you know, nowadays everybody is such a fucking frame rate Nazi. Well, if you want that smooth frame rate so badly, you're gonna have to compromise some of the visual detail. And I don't see anyone complaining about the frame rate. So maybe that was their compromise. This is how you make a game that's actually stable. But having said all that, I went back and watched this old demo and there's barely a difference. Aside from a different map and the menu originally being a watch, the game looks exactly the same. If you sit there with a magnifying glass, yeah, I'm sure you'll notice some differences, but come on, appreciate the game for how amazing it looks. You bunch of motherfuckers. The main complaint that people have about The Division is that the higher level you reach, the enemies become sort of bullet sponges. Who gives a fuck? Man up and shoot the motherfucker. He'll die. And it's exciting not knowing when their shields are gonna break. Oh, and uh, it's an RPG. You're supposed to chip away at bosses and mini bosses. If you don't like the fact that the battles eventually start lasting a little longer, then just don't play the game. Seriously, if you don't like what's going on here, Get the fuck out. And look at the stinking DLC for this thing. You got the underground expansion, which, <laughs> again, seriously underrated. I fucking love that underground. You got survival mode coming out soon. I don't even have the time to explain how banging that's gonna be. I mean, it's on. It is on. But my number one, absolute favorite, seal the deal, put me over the fence, put the nail in the coffin, bang the gavel, stomp the stamp thing about the division, is the hats. Hats in games are huge. Huge points for the hats. Because in real life, I happen to have a pretty large head. And there are many hats that I cannot fit into. I would play a game that's just called Hat simulator where you design and sell your own hats and build up your hat business then you have to do shady stuff like hire the mob to snuff out the rest of your hat competition and that right there is why the division does not suck thanks for watching